The number one mistake you're making when it comes to dating is that you don't have sufficient love, honor, and respect for yourself so that you're able to demonstrate it, communicate it, and more importantly, transfer it to the other person. And this mistake is costing you a lot. And pay attention, despite your being in the dating pool or the dating realm, because you're always dating the person whom you're in a relationship. Dating originally meant to see someone on several dates, on several um, day and time. And when you see someone often enough in several dates and times where originally it was meant to cast out people who aren't sufficiently um, aligning with you and to filter out people and filter in people who are, um, who are qualified. My agenda for this video, what I want to show you is number one, what it is to love, honor, and respect yourself, what it looks like. Number two thing I want to show you is how to fix it, how to fix the number one problem you're having in dating. And number three is how you can facilitate it, what it looks like. I am Roan John. I'm an open relationships expert with 13 plus years of experience dating and, cons and relationships consulting. I am the head trainer at Great Relationships University and I have the top Tantra therapy business in Las Vegas. Look me up if you're in town. I want to go over my sponsor for today's video. The sponsor for today's video is BlockFi, an amazing, think of it as a savings account, an app on your phone where you can hold your dollars and your Bitcoin and you can buy Bitcoin or you can transfer your Bitcoin into dollars and you can even get a loan against your Bitcoin. See the link below the, the caption on the caption of this video to find out more about BlockFi. They came out recently with a credit card that gives you 1.5% cash back in bitcoins. And when you sign up, you get an, an extra a free $250 after spending a certain amount. It's an amazing company, very secure company, and I love them and I use them and I've used them before I partnered with them, which is why I love uh, uh, propagating them. See the link in my, the caption of this video to find out more about them and more about other things which I promote. So the training, number one. <clears throat> what is it to love, honor, and respect yourself? To love, honor, and respect yourself is who is the person? What is, let me ask you, and I want you to consider this question for yourself. What is the most important relationship in your life? Is it your relationship with your mother? Is it, is it your relationship with your father? Is it your relationship with your family? Is it your closest relationships with your friends? Is it your relationship with your beloved? I want you to really think about that and I want you to consider that the most important relationship that you have is your relationship with yourself. How much do you love, honor, and respect yourself? I know that you've considered you know, how much do you love, honor, and respect others, how much do you love, honor, and respect your beloved, but have you ever considered how much do you love, honor, and respect yourself? Now, if you haven't considered your relationship with yourself as something significant, then I want you to think about what relationship is. When someone says they're in a relationship, it's a misnomer and a misunderstanding that immediately they think it's a monogamous one. Are you in a relationship? to which ev almost everyone answers yes or no, depending on whether they are in an exclusive relationship. When someone asks me when I'm in a relationship, I say, yes, of course. Um, but I don't know what the context is because I have several, I have a lot of relationships. I have professional relationships. I have platonic relationships. I have sexual relationships with multiple people. I have and I have an amazing relationship with myself. So you haven't considered your relationship with yourself is the most significant and important one. It's the one in which exudes itself, demonstrates itself with other people. And it's the person whom the person across you is the most important to you, whom you're communicating. They see, they recognize, especially women who have, tremend have evolved tremendous amount of in intuition social intuition, intuition about other people by their mannerisms and their, um, the way they speak, the way they talk, the way they communicate themselves. They can see 
what kind of person they are, they can see how much they love, honor, and respect themselves by how they communicate. They don't necessarily look for this, they don't necessarily think about this, it's just intuition. And when they recognize there's something about you, when they recognize that you're someone who loves, honors, and respects himself or herself, they will immediately recognize this and they'll feel there's something about you which is just so attractive. It is tremendously attractive to communicate with someone who loves, honors, and respects themselves because people like to align with value. People like to align with someone who can provide value in their life, not necessarily value in terms of accoutrements, in terms of financial value, but in value in many different respects. There's many different values which you could provide for other people. Some people only consider financial value as the end all be all of value. There are many other forms of value that other people will consider, will like, and uh, will value more, and they, don't, they may not recognize their value more than money. So what is it to love, honor, and respect yourself? Recognize that your relationship with yourself is a significant one. It's the all important one. It's the one in which exudes and demonstrates itself to others, and it's the one it's the lid which propagates itself with your relationship with other people. It is the lid. It is how much you love and honor and respect yourself. It's the same amount of love, honor, and respect which you will tolerate and receive from others. I want you to think about that. People that give you more love and honor and respect than you provide, than you have for yourself, you will sabotage. You will inherently think it's too good to be true because you will sabotage your relationship if someone loves you more than you feel you deserve someone honors and respects you more than you feel that you deserve so work on your relationship with yourself work on your love and honor and respect for yourself and you will receive an abundance of it if you have an abundance of it for yourself to love honor and respect yourself is to know yourself to know what you like and dislike, and to know what boundaries you're prepared to tolerate and you're prepared to accept. And I want you to consider... I found some capsules in the marketplace. You have six recipes... I did not summon her. The first five are smart recipes. Hold on. Bixby thinks I'm summoning her, but I'm not. So I, I want to give you some examples of... Um, of things you must do or things you can do right now so you can improve your relationship with yourself and you can have a tremendous dating um, uh, dating adventures with other people and you can really up your dating game number two number one is what is it to love honor and respect yourself uh, to honor to honor is to find to have sufficient admiration for yourself as to recognize what you will not tolerate and what you will accept. So number two is how to fix it. How to fix the problem of not honoring, loving, and respect yourself. I want you to really introspect and find out what you like. Do you know what you like? Do you know what you dislike? Do you know what you're prepared to tolerate? or what you're prepared to accept and what you're not prepared to tolerate. I want you to think about it in this way. I want you to become, I am the most intolerating person that you probably have known. I'm also the most accepting person that you know. And because I'm non-tolerating, I am tremendously accepting. To be non-tolerant of something is to recognize that what I'm prepared to accept, I accept completely. And what I'm not prepared to tolerate, I will communicate with you that I will not tolerate it. You can engage in it for yourself. If, if it's something you enjoy, I would encourage you to pursue it. I would encourage you, I would insist you find other people who you can uh, do that thing with. Just don't do it with me because I don't enjoy partaking in it. Now, if it's something I tolerate or if it's something I accept, I'm not tolerating it. I accept it, therefore I'm 100% I'm game. I'll play. So you can rely on my being able to communicate. You can rely on being yourself. Because when you do something which I don't like, 
You will know it. I will communicate it with you. So for you to begin to love, honor, and respect yourself, I want you to think about this. I want you to think about that if you were to clone yourself, if you were to find somebody who is exactly like you, mannerisms, behaviors, attitudes, mindsets, psychology, um, behavior, looks, would you want them to be your best friend? Now, if your answer to that question is not immediately, fuck yeah, I would love to meet someone exactly like me, that if the answer is not immediately an enthusiastic yes, then find out what those things that are preventing you from making it an enthusiastic yes and fix them. Perhaps the reason why you don't immediately want to be your best friend if you were to get cloned is because maybe you make up stuff in front of other people, you're not, um, you're not amicable, you're not uh, nice, you're very mean, you're very degrading, you're very... Um, you're embarrassing to be around. Uh, you're not social, sociably. Um, you're not sociable. You don't have much emotional intelligence. You don't have much intuition about other people. Things like this that you would you would consider. Imagine someone who you whom you would love to be, just your best friend. Those attitudes, behaviors, mannerisms, and psychology. Work on those things. And have, give, yourself, give yourself a lot of slack because there are a lot of people in your life who are not all your friends or your best friends or your best of friends. They're not perfect people. So never consider yourself as having to be a perfect person. Give yourself a lot of slack, the same slack that you give with your friends. There are a lot of behaviors that your friends that you perhaps dislike. They're not perfect. But don't make it so you need to be perfect so that you could be your best friend. You don't need <clears throat> for someone to be your best friend. They just have to have certain things, certain commonalities about themselves and be really fun to be around. So get those attributes for yourself and fix those behaviors about yourself, the, the mindsets and the mannerisms about yourself, which you would hate to be in someone that you would like to be your best friend. So number three is how you can facilitate. What it looks like to, for someone who is sufficiently loves, honors, and respects himself or herself to be in a dating queue. <clears throat> the mindset that you have, remember I talked about this in a previous video. The mindset you have in dating is that you are living your life just the way you like to live your life, pursuing the things that you like, and as a result, getting laid like a rock star. As a result of your doing the things that you'd like, you're meeting people whom you align with. And so when it comes to dating, I just want you to do the things that you like and be completely yourself. Do not pretend to be anybody else. Do not pretend to be stronger, faster, smarter than you are. Talk with the person whom you're dating as if they were already someone whom you're sleeping with because someone whom you're already sleeping with, you could be completely yourself. Do not pretend to, be, to promise anything which you're not prepared to provide. They will resent you for it. They will find out who you actually are as you build intimacy with each other and they will resent you <coughs> for pretending to be someone else. So I want you to live the biggest life you can. I want you to live the life that you like, never pretending to be someone else. Communicate exactly as you are. The person that you see me in front of this camera is the same exact person that you will interact with in, in person. Uh, which is why I love the video, um, providing you these videos, because you could truly see the person that I am. So, my call to action for you, uh, I would like you to do a couple of things um, so you can put into action these things that I've given you so that you can have a tremendous dating uh, dating adventure. But first, I want you to consider visiting BlockFi, the link on this caption, on the caption of this video. Check out their credit card. It's an amazing credit card. Uh, $250 uh, free once you've uh, spent a certain amount and you get 1.5% cash back in Bitcoin. The most amazing and uh, most important asset 
of the several decades. Now, the call to action is number one. I want you to discover for yourself. I want you to write down what it is you like, what it is you don't like, and what it is you desire from another person. I want you to write down what it is you desire from an ideal lover. What it is you like, what it is you're prepared to accept, and what it is you really like, and what it is you really, really like, and what it is you dislike, and what it is you're not prepared to tolerate. I want you to write those down. I want you to really discover for yourself. This is the beginning. This is the beginning of, of honoring yourself, honoring your boundaries, honoring what you're not prepared to tolerate, and, on, and knowing what, you're, what you accept and knowing what you desire. So that this is important when you're able to communicate it with somebody when they ask you, what, what do you like? What is it you like in another person? And it makes you more valuable when you honor yourself. This is what it is to honor. And uh, those are the important cues. The number, number two thing I want you to do is I want you to visit greatrelationshipsu.com, an online course which gives you the appropriate skills so that you can communicate better, you can have social dynamic intelligence, and you can have relationship management skills. Very important, especially when it comes to dating. So let me review. Number one, you must love and honor and respect yourself. This will communicate itself to the other person. And when it's sufficient, when you have it for yourself, you will transfer it to them and they will love you and honor you and respect you. And in fact, the thing that limits their love and honor and respect for yourself, the thing that limits you in how much love and honor and respect you receive is the, one, the limit that you have about yourself, the love, honor, and respect, the limited amount that you have for yourself. The way, you, <clears throat> the way you go about life, remember, is that you go through life doing things that you like, living the best life for you, and as a result, getting laid like a rock star. And that's my training for today. Leave a comment below what you think. Tell me your thoughts. How, what do you like to do in dating? What is your dating protocol? And what is it that you like and dislike? And what is it that you really, really like? I'd love to know. Leave it in the comments below. And also, if you haven't already, share this with other people who you will find value in this. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll talk to you on tomorrow's video.